So I thought I'd do a quick video here just to show you the latest faulty eBay pickup and probably my next project I'll be working on. So I've more or less got all the systems I really wanted in my collection and I've ended up buying them cheap or faulty and then fixing them up and modifying them. So I suppose this is like the next logical step and probably a lot of you already guess what this is going to be. But I was on eBay the other week, no surprises there. <laughs> looking for any kind of faulty hardware or anything that looked kind of interesting for me to uh, fix up. And I saw this and it was listed really cheaply and I kind of hummed and had about buying it because I really don't know anything about these. But in the end I ended up putting a quite a low bid, an offer of £10 and surprisingly the guy accepted it. It was £10 for this and then £10 postage so I thought that was a really good deal. Maybe it's not, I don't know. But I'll just get to showing you what it is. Um, yeah, you can probably guess from there. But it is a MVS one slot motherboard. And it is faulty, but like I said, this is going to be my next project. And I really don't know anything about arcade hardware at all. I've not owned any arcade boards or anything like that in the past. Literally, everything I know about arcade machines is from fellow YouTubers like. Um, Luke Morse and Retro Repair, the Damo Monster, those guys that uh, are always making videos about these things. So, yeah, this is going to be a, a first for me and it will be my next project. But, quickly show you the, the board here. And it's really dusty, but that was one of the, the main reasons I went for this one because I'm thinking if it's dusty, it's probably been sitting somewhere for a while and it's not been messed around with. Or, it is less likely to have been messed around with. But the problem with this is the guy said he tested it out, he plugged it all in, and the only thing that happens is this red LED comes on, and that's it. And I know already, he already said to me, but the, the battery on this has been leaking. You can just see that in there. And it probably looks a lot worse on camera than it does in real life, but um, I've had a look around there, and it doesn't seem to be as bad as you might think from seeing it there. Nothing I can't really salvage or, or patch up. But I'll be putting a a new button cell battery in there. I think it's a type that you use in Dreamcast VMUs. Is it a 2032 or something like that? But that'll be the first thing I do. And uh, yeah, this is going to be like a slow burning project because I really don't have any money to be spending on um, something like this. I don't have any equipment to test this at the moment so really what I'm looking to do is find the cheapest way of testing this to the point where I know I can start investing money in it so just if I can get it patched up and I know that it's it's at least working I can then think about getting a proper controller and games and stuff for it but yeah I'll quickly show you the board here it's getting a bit dark outside so it's going to be quite hard to show you this um, I'll show you the model number first so this is an MV1FS, if that means anything to anyone. I think it's one of the earlier boards, but I'm not too sure. It's got a socketed, I think this is the BIOS chip, and bear in mind I don't know anything about these, so I could be completely wrong, but I'm guessing that's the, the BIOS chip, and it appears to be socketed, so that's probably quite a good thing. These look like they're controller ports, maybe. Um, this one's got a little crack on it, but it's no big deal. Um, these capacitors here, I'm not. Are they meant to be on their side? <laughs> I'm not too sure. I don't know if they've been damaged, but that's easy enough to fix. There don't seem to be any blown capacitors there. They all look fine, but um, you never know. Got some dip switches here, and I'm guessing these are for your uh, controls. I'm not too sure. Again, but yeah, this will be my next project. Um, Really what I want to do is just get this to the point where I know it's salvageable or I can get it working again. The only things I really have to test this, or the things I, I currently have, are, um, what do you call it, a P, a P, a power supply unit for like an old PC. I've got one of those and I've got an old VGA monitor, so um, I suppose these are going to be the first parts. Um, I'll use to put towards getting this up and running again, but other than that I have literally no knowledge of fixing these and uh, Yeah, I don't know if I'll 
could get a, like a, make a super gun or something like that. Really don't know at this point, but yeah, just thought I'd do a quick video on this and show you my latest pickup, my project here. It seems to be in quite good condition. I think I can probably get it working again. There's no major gouges or anything on the the board, and it seems to be in pretty good condition. But yeah, I'd just like to know: do, you, do I need a game to be plugged into this to test it, or can I run it without a game? Do I have to go and buy a game for this? Because um, I'm not really sure at this point. But there you go. So that's my new project, my first ever piece of arcade hardware. Uh, not too sure if I'm going to get this working or not. Hopefully I will, but thanks for watching and I'll catch you again soon.